Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of blockchain. So in today's video, we are going to see the concept of Merkle root tree. So uh, all the time we have talked about that how the data is stored in a blockchain is in a chronological order. And if someone tries to snoop around, then it will he or she will be caught. Okay, so we are going to see how the data is stored inside a block. Okay, just uh, remember that now at the moment we are talking about only a single block. Okay, that is uh, every transaction in a block. How uh, a block is storing data. So it is storing the data in the form of this Merkle root tree. So let me explain what is that. First of all, you are seeing that uh, this thing that is R1 till R8. These are the transactions. All right. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me just uh, make it full screen. Yeah. Okay, so I hope it is visible. Yeah. So now uh, these are this R1 till R8. Okay, let me just select the pen here. Here. So this transaction that is R1, R2, R3 up till R8, these are the transactions. Alright, that is any transaction, whether cryptocurrency transaction or anything that is happening inside the block. So every transaction is having the hash that is H1, R2 will be having the hash H2, R3 will be having the hash H3, R4 will be having hash H4 and so on. Okay, so uh, hash will be calculated as we have seen in how to calculate the SHA256 hash in the previous videos. So basically these transactions will be having the hash. Now every transaction has their respective hash that is H1, H2, H3 and till H8. Okay, so now these hashes will be appended. All right. So you can see here H1 and H2 will be appended that is H12. So H12 is uh, H1 appended with H2. For example, H1 is ABC and H2 is DEF. So the H12 will be ABC DEF. That is how it is uh, appended and final hash this H12 small H12 is hash of this hash. Okay, that is hash of this H1 and H2 that is small H12. Similarly, we have small H34 and uh, finally we have small H1234 up till we get this root hash that is H1 to H8. Okay, similarly here also uh, the data is going to be stored in a chronological order like this till we get this and finally from both these we get the root hash. So this is how the data is stored. Now let's say someone tries to uh, make some changes in the transaction. Okay, so I will use a different color pen here. So I will use a blue color pen. So let's say someone tries to make some changes in this R3 transaction or it is better I will use a green pen. Yeah, so someone tries to make some changes in R3. So what will happen once R3 changes, the H3 is going to change. All those transactions having three hash is going to change. H34 is going to change. H1234 will change and H1234567 it will change. Okay, because we have seen that hashing is not uh, reversible. That is uh, once for uh, that is hash cannot be changed. Once you have some hash for ABC this value, you change some values. Let's say you make it ABD, the hash will be different. So this is how the hash will change and all that's why all those hashes will change. Okay, so that's why we will know that there is some issue with this RC transaction. We can see it in next slide. That is here someone tries to make some changes in this uh, eighth transaction. So uh, due to this, this one changes, this thing changes and finally this thing changes. So here we are able to identify that this transaction changes. So this is how the data is stored in this uh, Merkle root tree form in a block of a blockchain. Okay, so this is about a single block. That is how the data in a blockchain is uh, stored. All right. So about the and about the hash, as I said that uh, there is uh, hash has changed whenever we change some values. So we can see here that this is an online hash generator. I will paste the link in the description as well. You can see here the hash this is the hash generator tool and when we uh, write let's say I write ABC this is the hash it generates okay and the moment I write D or I change anything let's I just make it capital or small the hash changes and you can see everything is having the hash of this SHA 256 that is 256 bits all right so that's why it is the 
so we say that uh, once a transaction is changes all the hashes changes all right so uh, this is how the data is stored in a chronological order in a blockchain uh, in basically a block of a blockchain all right so this is all for this video uh, i know it is a bit short in the next video we are going to have a look at proof of work that is how the data is actually stored and validated in a blockchain and when we add a new block how it is added in a blockchain Okay, so this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.